Hi, this is Daniel with End Time Country Living, and on this video, I want to show you guys how to transplant onion starts. That's coming up. These are some of the onion starts that I started back in the middle of January. Uh, filled these with, this is a 72 cell tray, and these are just an in, in individual uh, six packs here. They seem to work really well for the onions. So they're up to a good size right now. So they're about, oh, six to, eight inches high or so, just on varying lengths, and some are maybe up to 10 or so. So this is about the maximum that I usually want to get them because the roots get kind of um, root bound in there a little bit too much if they get much bigger than this. And the weather seems to be you know, warming up now. It's not freezing cold out here, so I think they'll continue to grow really well out here. It's about April, so it's April 23, which is the day before our average last uh, spring frost, so it's usually when I try to get them out. Even though they they could go could have gone out maybe a month earlier, is still so wet and cold that they really wouldn't do too well out in the garden. But they do do really well in the greenhouse in these soil to get them up to size a lot quicker. So the tools that I'm using for bed preparation uh, first is going to be my leaf rake. This is the widest rake that I have here. Um, there's other rakes that you could buy that you know, specifically designed for this task, but this is, this is about uh, 24 inches, so it gets me fairly uh, far across the 30 inch bed. So I pulled back the plastic just for this one row here so I can work on it, and it's kind of lumpy still. Um, the mice or voles have been working around in here. So it's still a little bumpy, so I'm going to get it nice and smooth so that I can make marks in here and get the um, onions in here in just the right spacing here so they're all evenly spaced. So I'm going to kind of work, work it out to the edges, get a little bit crowned on here, and just kind of go, go down the row here. Kind of make sure that the there's a full full width of 30 inches here for my marks to be going in here. You'll notice down in this area uh, there's a lot of um, white fungal material in here and that's really good. You'll see there's lots of little fungal uh, white hairs in here growing in through the compost which has a lot of little sticks in it and uh, little broken down pieces of wood. So like like this piece here, the fungus is really working on it here to break it down and that's going to provide more ammonium to the plants as opposed to nitrate nitrates. So that's when you have a balance more towards the ammonium side, your plants that you're, that you're wanting to grow are going to do much better. Um, especially uh, more grasses and other brassicas and things like that and the onions will appreciate it too more than a nitrate high balance in the soil so good fungal material is important so that's why we like to have compost that's high in um, more leaves and things like that and a little bit of sticks in there that create the fungus appreciate that that type of food a lot better than the high nitrogen more grasses and things like that that are broken down so once I get the bed nicely raked nice and flat I'm going to make make some marks in here so that I know exactly where to uh, place the plants so I've already calculated out how much bed space I'm going to use up by the plants uh, so these are going to be placed six inches apart 
and uh, five rows fits in a 30 inch bed nicely with three inches on either side and then six inch spacing in between each row and then I'll also do six inch spacing between the plants in the row so it'll be more of a square grid pattern. Um, so one of the tools I made for marking out the rows um, is just a piece of wood here that I've cut to 30 inches and then I put some three inch screws in here uh, marked out three inches in from the sides to get my spacing just right all six inches apart here and this can be either taken off or uh, I can just take out the screws and put them in every four you know make four rows out of it or put in three or however many I need to just by uh, putting the, taking the screws in and out uh, fairly quickly whatever I'm going to be planting out here so this is a kind of an inexpensive method to quickly mark rows. So I'm going to position the, the stick on the, on the width of the bed here and then get my position where I think I can, can start having good spacing here. Make my uh, rows here and then just drag it along here. So this allows me to get good row spacing fairly quickly uh, without you know making putting stakes out or uh, and running string or something like that or having a grid pattern where I have to repeat it over and over press it in this so I can just drag down the in edge uh, the length of the row here and get my, my row spacing on here which is the most important to, to get um, so that you make sure you maintain your uh, rows so that you're not putting in you know get them a little too far apart and you end up with one way off the edge or doesn't fit and so it can be when, you, when you're actually setting the starts out it can be a little bit of a challenge to keep keep the rows nice and uh, uniform so you can keep the right number of plants at the right density for optimal growth. So the best tool I found to uh, quickly get the plants in is to use a uh, this is a 10 inch mason's trowel uh, works very really nice and thin so it go, slips into the soil very easily and it tapers up very nicely so you can move a lot of soil at once and you have a nice little um, fairly narrow tip here so it goes into the point to go in the soil very easily. Also on here I have it measured out. I have a three inch mark on here. I've scratched into the paint here and then another one at six inch from a little six on there. A little three so I can know what the spacing is that way I can just lay lay my trowel on there and say oh that's where my next plant and then pick it up and grab it and lay it and pick it up I need to you know adjust or I can just you know that's more just to um, make sure that my spacing is is still consistent I usually eyeball it a lot of times once I get going for a while once I kind of recognize the pattern so so I, I like to just wear a leather glove or any other type of glove on my right hand here that I'm using for the trowel. Uh, this usually gets you know pretty pretty dirty because I'm doing a lot more of the handling of the starts with it, which are usually a little bit met, muddy at the time. So I'm going to grab, usually grab uh, two packs here and lay them down here. So this is where I left off uh, planting here. So here's my, my little rose marked out for me here, along here. So I'm going to be planting along here. Um, every six inches pop in one here. So usually I'll grab both or take, take all the little sets out here. Just going to drop them on the soil here so they're ready to go as quickly as I can just kind of lay them out and then I'll grab the next one and lay them out too kind of more uh, assembly line here so that you can do it quick quickly and not switch tasks all the time okay so next one's gonna go here so I'm just gonna grab grab one of these here and then put the trowel in pull it back and out just kind of at a 45 degree angle so I'm pulling the dirt away and then I'm going to use the same hand to come up here and pinch it around there make sure it's standing up 
grab another one, do the same process. So then I'm gonna start over here. So I'm only gonna do four rows here because the fifth one I'm really having to reach with my back there and strain my back, try to get the last row, just in this sitting position, a kneeling position, even in a squatting position, it's kind of difficult. So I'm gonna go back um, at the end here and just drop them in real quick, that last row, standing, uh, sitting from the other side, um, work my way around or just squat down a little bit and get it real quick. Okay, so I can use my uh, trowel here real quick to make sure I'm on six. Drop them in there. So just as quick as you can get these in here. Sometimes you have to hit it twice with the trowel to get it get it in there. The soil's a little more compacted right there. So every year I kind of modify my technique just a little bit. To, uh, uh, tighten up some loose ends and figure out some way to speed up the process so I'm not spending so much time out here transplanting, um, things like that. So just some quick tips there that may get you to go a little faster and um, optimize things a little better so you can get, get your starts out quickly. And this, this works for, mo for most crops, same basic technique, just uh, get your flats out here next to the row and um, get the starts out of the pots, set the cells, and uh, then get them into the soil in the whatever amount of spacing that's needed. So each type of plant has a little bit different spacing, depends on what it is. Uh, the brassicas are usually at about uh, 18 inches or so. I usually set those out at um, certain, certain ones like kale, which is more of a uh, vertical growth. I can usually get it at about a foot or so is what I usually do those at, but broccoli and cauliflower needs about 18 inches to, to really expand and do well, otherwise they're really crowded.